respond to the issue of your public statement never to talk to your appointing authority. Although I told you that uh, okay, on, Mrs. only Speaker. fools don't change their mind, this, but in Isola, I would want the public to hear from you. Sasa, Isola, do you want to repeat the statement for me? At where's your girl? How? Uh, let, let me let me say no, this. I understand. No, you. but let me say this for clarity, uh, uh, Chairman. You know, apart from asking questions during vetting for competence, what you understand about mining and all, we also vet the temperament of a nominee, the same way you've been asked about lifestyle. It's neither here or there, really. But even temperament of a nominee is very important because it shows your leadership skills. Initially, you thought this, and now you're here. There's really nothing wrong with answering how you're going to relate with His Excellency the President when you're working. Excellent. So, Mr. Speaker, if I may quote uh, the statement when, like, Mimi ni onge Naruto nini? Mimi ni niende wapi Naruto? Mr. Speaker, hakuna mtu ya vizuri kukuliko. Mpumbavu pekea kendo abadilishi mawazo. Mtu mpumbavu. Pili, he ni clarion call to serve the country. I have been critic, a great critic of this government, like others I did before. Now I've been given, I've been given an opportunity. An opportunity has been availed to me to come and create that difference that I've been talking about all this time. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Bring new energy, new ideology, new thinking, because after all, all of us are serving one that nation, do. one people. Well put. That will yeah. do. Other members, now uh, nominee, we are coming to an end. Uh, the few, most of the people members of the public sending in questions all oscillate around what will you do to create safety in the mines what will you do to protect the population from disused mines uh, what will you do to protect our fishermen from harassment by neighbors what will you do to make it safe for our fishermen to handle their produce or their products when they come back and what will you do to make mining part of the central core of Kenya's economy. These are all things we have talked about but the public would want to hear that we brought to you what they wanted. There is one man from Kwale who says Uliza Waziri Muteule Oja kidogo. Ataweka mikakati gani kuhakikisha kituo cha mafunzo cha uchumi za mawati kilichoko wadi ya wa ngomeni kaundi ya kwale kinakamilika kwa muda unaofaa. Uh, I think uh, the next I'll still ask you one or, I'll say one or two things. We want you to assure Kenyans, nominee, that if you find favor and you are appointed the minister, within what period will you be able to make Kenyans feel the benefits and the contribution of mining to our economy? We are a major agricultural country. So is a country like the U.S., but in the U.S., agriculture contributes only 1% to their GDP. In Kenya, it is the complete opposite. And they do that because they are in manufacturing, in mining, value addition, and all those uh, good economic activities. Secondly, ensure that Kenyans participate in this exciting new economic venture. Assure Kenyans that you are not going to be, if approved, to be working for international conglomerates to come to Kenya, appear to be generating economic activities but taking away all our wealth. 
We want to see mining being part of the central feature of our economy. Thirdly and lastly, for the seafarers and those who are now going to work on international ships, you may consider, because most of those seafarers will work in ships of major shipping and maritime countries. Korea, China, Spain, and others. You may consider, and Germany you talked earlier, to introduce basic language courses at our college in Mombasa in these languages so that when they graduate, they have a basic knowledge of German, of Korean, or Chinese, or Mandarin, or whatever. Thirdly, and lastly, you may also consider sometimes if a seafarer goes to a Spanish shipping line and produces a certificate that's a collaboration between our college and some college in Spain, it gives confidence to those who are employing. So you may consider partnering our institution with as many other institutions worldwide as possible to ease the process of our youths getting certificates and being considered for employment. Finish those, then I come to... Can I say one from uh, a Kenyan speaker? Oh, there is a... Okay, one yes. One from Kenyan. Yes. From uh, West Pokot. West Pokot. Uh, yes, he's saying, don't forget to tell Joho, this is a guy of uh, late 30s, he's working and he's in school. He just finished from four the other day and got a D plus. So he's saying, don't forget to tell Joho your motivation to many of us, like me in West Pokot, to pursue my education studies. Yeah. Yes, uh, before you answer, there is also somebody who said, I am really shocked that Governor Joho has two degrees. Kenyans know he has never been to school. This is some lady from somewhere. Now go on and answer. Mr. Speaker, the only thing she didn't write is that I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, an alumni of Harvard University. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm grateful that uh, we could inspire someone. And this is a message I want to tell the young, the young people of this country. Please never lose hope. Never give up. There is always a way out. It requires determination, focus, commitment. Answer and those now. And a little bit of support. I'm just saying that because I felt encouraged that someone may take a path of changing his life. Mr. Speaker, I began by saying we need to relook at the architecture of our training programs. Do they conform to the needs? How do we tap in? How is it that we, first of all, are only tapping into just under 0.2% of the demand? So we, we would probably redesign the entire uh, training uh, program. And then, Mr. Speaker, I couldn't agree more. The urgent need of collaboration between teaching institutions. We will begin by pursuing partnership between the local universities and the government institutions, and also will encourage that we have an international conversation of getting more uh, affiliate universities to join in. Mr. Speaker, the young brother from Kuala said that uh, there is uh, an institution that is to be completed. At Wa Ward in Kwale. I have been to Wa in Ngomeni very, I know, I know Ngomeni well. I've been there and I, I want to assure him that I will go for me. I will visit them and I'll, assure, I'll, I'll make sure that the, the projects that are, have begun come to, to a conclusion. And then, Mr. Speaker, we talked about what else? Kenyans participating in, uh, in mining. Mr. Speaker, let me just say this. In Mombasa, when there was a debate on concessions, for example, I heard Kenyans saying one thing. If government wants to raise money, tell us. We can come together, five of us, ten of us, and create good equity, good capital, in billions, there is that capacity. We know people that are having billions of <laughs> shillings in banks. 
what may be the problem? Maybe they don't have the information of what, uh, what the country holds. Maybe they've never understood the potential. So it will be my responsibility to pass knowledge to Kenyan people of what we have and where the opportunities may be. Some mining operations is not very expensive, Mr. Speaker. It's not excavator, one or two, three, four trucks. Kenyans can do that. And I will encourage them. But I think the disconnect here is they do not know. It is all speculative. Everybody is just speculating. We have lithium here, we have copper there, we have gold here, we have coal here. So we will ensure that we pass on the information so that Kenyan people can, uh, can participate. Finally, Mr. Speaker, you talked about our economy being driven by agriculture. Let me assure you, if approved, the journey we will embark on immediately is to turn that around so that agriculture grows, mining either catches up or surpasses even agriculture. It is there in other countries. So you can't depend on one sector for, we have depended really on agriculture for far too long. It's time we diversify. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Do of I, the, oh, I, had, I was answering, I was gonna answer something in a- We'll get there. Of the many nominee uh, memoranda we received, you answered all of them.